Hi, it's Dorothy Guining with Scrapbooking Quebec, and today I'm here for the YouTube collaboration for the love of crafting and sharing. You'll find links to the other participants in the information box below. And in March, we each found a free sketch for inspiration. So not only will you get inspiration from us today, you may just learn about a new source of free inspiration. So this is what I'm going to be using. It's a sketch by Milena Widiwis that I found on the Facebook group Scrapbook Nerd Friends Group. And Milena has an album there of over a hundred free sketches and they're also available on Instagram. So I'm going to link up both of those places in the information box below. Here's what I'm going to be using. I have paper from Stampin' Up! and embellishments from Vicki Booten. Now the paper actually comes from two different Stampin' Up! collections from the Sia Silhouette collection as well as the Come Sail Away collection. I also have white and green cardstock, and you'll see in a minute I trimmed and matted my photos already. This sketch has five photos. Now the measurements I used are just a bit larger than what is indicated on the sketch. So the measurements that I write on the screen are for what I'm doing here today. Now the embellishments, I decide to bring in Vicki Booten's embellishments from her new collection from Wander, simply because these are travel pages and I find them totally gorgeous. And even though I have the paper from this collection, I really liked that Stampin' Up! paper with these photos. So that's why I put them both together and in the end I actually like the end result. So the first thing I'm going to do is prepare my foundation page. So as you can see from this sketch, there is a border at the top of the page. Now on my page, this border, the visible border, ends up measuring one inch wide. But I cut two strips of paper, one of them at two inches and the other at one inch, but they are adhered behind the white cardstock. That's why the visible border ends up being only one inch. And what I did was I adhered this to the white cardstock and it was only then that I trimmed down that white cardstock so that the entire page would measure 12 by 12. I just find it much easier to do that after than to cut the paper before and then try to fit it all together to a 12 by 12 page. Now that I have the foundation page prepared, I'm going to play around with my photo. So I'm going to kind of create this grouping as the sketch shows and what I'll do is adhere this cluster together but I'm still going to keep it independent from the page at this point. That's because this sketch has a lot of layers, a lot of small pieces and I don't know how big it's going to get at this point. Also I don't know how much room my title is going to take so I don't want to commit this cluster to the page quite yet. Now in the sketch there are six layers. So what I'm going to do is trim down this blue paper and I'm going to cut it in three different pieces and they're basically kind of random. I'm putting the measurements on the screen but three of the six layers are going to be this blue paper and it's going to be almost an anchor, kind of something that repeats throughout this cluster. And the other three pieces are simply three pieces of ephemera. Actually it ends up being two pieces of ephemera but one of them I cut in half. So what I did was I placed the ephemera in three spots, kind of in a triangle around that photo cluster. That's what I'm adhering right now. And once I have the ephemera in place, I take those blue pieces of paper and again, I adhere them around three spots around this cluster, kind of in a triangle around it. And what it ends up resulting in is this organic cluster of five photos and six different layers. So it's really quite something. Actually, it's much easier to do than what the result looks like. It looks a lot more complex than it is to actually create, I guess is what I want to say. Now before adhering this to the page, I'm going to add a bit of ink. So that's Island Indigo from Stampin' Up! and I have one of those picket fence blending brushes. So I'm just adding a little bit of color just to take away a little bit of the white and have it 
peeking out from underneath this cluster. And now I'm looking at this chipboard sticker set and I'm getting out the title, Let's Wander. So I know how much space this title is going to take at this point. So I'm confident enough to adhere this cluster to the foundation page. Now I'm typically a person who measures everything when I adhere it to the page and that was very difficult to do when I was creating this photo ephemera paper cluster. So now you see me getting my ruler out and just checking things and it turns out it went pretty well. I didn't have much adjusting to do. If you're worried about measurements you might want to do this and if you're not then you don't have to worry about it. Once I get this in place, like I said, it was very quick, I am going to place my title. I'm going to adhere the wander down with foam adhesive, but I keep let's separate for a little bit of time because I'm not quite sure at this point if I want to add foam adhesive to that or if I want to leave it flat to the page, but I know it's going to go somewhere in that corner. And now what I'm going to do is start creating a few other embellishment clusters. So I add this tag to the top there. I'm more or less following the sketch and I add another tag. Both of those came from the ephemera pack. They're made of vellum. They're actually quite beautiful. And I put one there on the left hand side as well. I am going to want to add reinforcers to those tags. So I get out some cardstock here and I'm not sure I'm additioning black and green and I end up going with the green but I don't adhere it right away I don't think I'm going to wait a little bit I also am going to want to repeat that craft color because obviously I have a lot of blue in there and green but I, the title adds that craft color as well as that tag at the top so I add that circle that says now down towards that tag on the left hand side and I'm happy with that and what I'm going to do now is add some journaling lines. So that's a stencil by Echo Park called Back to School that I use all the time. And I'm just putting it in place with some washi tape and I'm also masking the areas that I don't want to add ink to. And I'm going to use a sponge brayer with some black ink and I want mine to be a little organic. On the sketch it's kind of straight up and down but the Everything about this cluster is kind of all over the place, so I make sure that the lines kind of go under that photo at the bottom a little bit as well. So now I'm finally going to add a few more decorations, so I decide to add something right underneath that uh, photo that says the story of today, and I'm going to adhere let's finally flat to the page with that arrow as well, just to the right of it. And I'm almost done here. I do have to add my reinforcers to my tags and I end up adding a little bit of twine. And the twine that I use has some gold flecks in it because there are some gold flecks in the word wander as well as that tag at the top of the page. So I decided to go with the twine that had some gold flecks in it. And I'm almost done here. What you're going to see at the end of this video, obviously I do my journaling, but I end up adding two more stickers, basically two tabs. I add one up by my head up in the top left hand corner and I've got the word recorded or documented or something like that there. And I end up adding one alongside that bottom photo. I just wanted to repeat that craft color elsewhere on the page. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a blast making this sketch, using this sketch. Really, it ends up looking really complicated, but it was very quick and easy to do. A really fun way to add a lot of layering to a page. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed to Scrapbooking Quebec, I'd love it if you did. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and be sure to check out all the other participants. Their information is below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.